What's up everyone? So today I'll be telling you guys why I sold my 2007 Toyota Tacoma and bought a 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8. When that happened about six months ago, uh, we had a lot of comments as to why I made this decision. I had just installed the new lift, I was researching for larger tires, and everything was looking really cool. I was very close to being done modifying the truck. So first I'll go over a few things about the truck and then get into the reason why I got rid of it. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. So I bought the Tacoma back in 2007, brand new off the lot, had about 35 miles on it. It was the XSP package, so that came with the 20 inch N key wheels, four wheel drive, the carbon fiber interior pieces, JL audio system, the Bluetooth, and towing package. Very premium vehicle at the time, and they only produced the XSP package in 2007, 2008. I only saw about four of these throughout the years of owning my car. And I actually passed one the day that I sold it, which was kind of cool to see. Over the years, we did a ton of off-roading trips in the Tacoma. We hauled the dirt bikes with it, towed boats, uh, did a lot of moving. We utilized this pickup truck the way it should be. Without beating it up too bad, we had a few off-road mishaps, uh, nothing major. Um, we really used it as a pickup truck. And with that said, I absolutely love the Tacomas. We have a few reviews on our channel of the 2016s. Definitely check those out. I love the new look and the fact that crawl control is even a feature. So definitely check out the videos we have of the 16 Tacoma. If I were to get another pickup truck, I would definitely stick with the Tacoma. It's a very capable, very cool truck to have. So here's what I will never do again. And that is install the six inch lift kit. I put about 3000 miles on the six inch lift kit and it was nothing but problem after problem. For six months, my ears actually became trained to every little noise or vibration. I would notice sounds in other people's cars as well. You know, people in my family thought I was crazy. That's how bad daily driving this Tacoma was. Uh, the first thing to give me problems was the drive shaft. I adjusted the shims that came with the kit probably like a hundred times trying to fix you know, this vibration that I was feeling underneath the floorboard. This vibration was so horrible that I didn't even listen to the radio because I was listening for every little noise, everything that I could just, you know, possibly hear and trying to figure out how to make it go away. Through tons of research, I finally found the problem and that was the driver's side needle bearing of all things. Um, which they're not built obviously for the new angle of the six inch lift and they do go out in most Tacomas. That's something I kind of didn't really research very well until after the fact that it happened. Um, so $200 later, had that replaced, everything was going fine. About four or five days later, more noises started to appear from the passenger side and I thought, crap, another needle bearing going out but the driver's side and the passenger side do have different angles. So if a needle bearing does go out, typically in the Tacoma, it is on the driver's side. So after a few days of you know, solving that problem, uh, I found out that turning my wheels to the left was almost impossible, um, especially in tight corners, like backing into a, into a parking spot, I heard a very loud, very aggressive grinding noise. Uh, long story short, the passenger side CV axle was on its way out. Uh, I don't have a clip of how it sounded, but backing down my driveway, you know, neighbors could hear. It was the weirdest grinding rotational noise you would ever hear. So it got to the point where I would take someone else's car because I didn't want to get stuck and I could barely back down the driveway without it locking up on me. So. $500 later, I had that replaced, and the next day, it was out again. 
So I'm already into my truck, $700 on replacing these parts from the six inch lift. So this brought on the search for a new vehicle ASAP. Obviously I needed a form of transportation for work. Uh, my brother has the Genesis Coupe 2.0 Turbo and his video, he'll be making a video soon of his four year update owning that, which will be pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of where I started. I absolutely loved his car. Every time I drove it, I felt very cool in it. You know, you're in this debadged red sports car. No one knows what it is. You're getting a ton of attention. Um, so when that came time to search for a car, the Genesis Coupe was my first option. Now that's not the only car that I looked for. Uh, some include the Veloster Turbo. I was looking at GTIs, 1 Series BMWs, uh, G35, G37s, SIs. I was looking for everything. Um, I quickly eliminated front wheel drive. Uh, we owned a 2007 TC and going from that to the Genesis Coupe rear wheel drive, uh, it was definitely a lot more fun. So in looking up price, year, mileage, you know, the overall condition, uh, the looks of the Genesis Coupe is really what sold me and the fact that for the same price range you get an amazing rear wheel drive sports car um, and just, you know, the overall appearance, quality, you know, everything I was looking for compared to some of the other vehicles in the same price point. And basically being the exact same car as the Turbo, the only difference is our seats are a different color. Um, being the Premium and the GT, they really have the same features. So I already felt very comfortable, you know, driving this car. I already knew where all the buttons were and everything. So that's another reason, you know, why I stuck with the Genesis Coupe. So there you have it. I did a ton of research before installing this lift kit and nowhere did I see anyone experiencing issues like this. I know lifting a truck obviously changes angles and things like that, uh, but with so many lifted trucks out today and people running the same kit I had or similar, uh, it didn't seem like a very common issue. So maybe there was something wrong with the install or the specific kit that I got. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but overall changing to the Genesis Coupe has been very fun. We've made a lot of videos You know, there's a ton more to come. Uh, we even did a track day with them, which was pretty cool So thanks for watching guys be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube browse our channel for all those other automotive videos There are still a ton of the Tacoma if you have any questions about that I'll gladly answer those for now. We have plenty more videos of the gens to come like our Facebook page follow us on Instagram I'll see you guys next video.